Hello, creative friends. Kara Plichnich here, and today we are going to talk about document bleeds. What are they? Why do you need them? And how do you use them? I'm going to be showing you today in Adobe Illustrator, but the principle is the same no matter which app you're using. So let's dive in. Here we are looking at, let's say, an eight and a half by 11 size poster. And in this case, because this design is on a white background and does not have any artwork that is touching the edge of the document, this document doesn't need a bleed. This could be printed on eight and a half by 11 paper, or it could be printed on larger paper and cut down to eight and a half by 11. We don't have to worry, there's nothing that's close to the edge. So easy peasy. Let's take a look at a different document. Now here, if you were to print a poster of this document, you would need a bleed. So that means that if your finished document size is gonna be eight and a half by 11, it doesn't actually get printed on eight and a half by 11 paper. It gets printed on larger paper that is trimmed down to eight and a half by 11. And in order to get a nice clean edge without any weird white border along the edge, you actually need to make the artwork a little bit bigger. And that little bit is called the bleed. So let me show you. In this document, we don't have a bleed right now. So let's set it up by going to File, document setup and down here under bleed we're going to enter in a value of an eighth of an inch that's a pretty common bleed size but you always want to check with your printers to see what size they want you to have but we'll go ahead and just do eighth of an inch all the way around click ok and instantly you can see this little red border this is the bleed. So the area between the end of the actual document and this red line, that's called the bleed and that's what gets trimmed off in the printing process. So it's basically like if you imagine that you printed off like let's say a sticker, a small object on like your at-home printer and then you took scissors and you tried to cut out the perfect edge, that would be really tricky, right? So to make it easier on yourself, you'd want to make the edge a little beyond where you actually want to trim it. And that way you could cut it out or use a punch or a die or something like that and not have to worry about missing the edge. So that's all that a bleed is. So here, in order to make the, this document have the bleed that we want, we would need to dig into the artwork and just extend it to the bleed here. So I'm going to drill down into this document and I'm going to pull this background all the way to the bleed get out of there so that part looks good now we have these mountain pieces that we need to move so i'm going to select that and i would extend this to all the sides anywhere where that artwork is touching the edge you want it to go beyond the edge to the bleed so we'll do this one too and pull this down. We'll select this piece, do the same thing. And finally, we have this texture piece that we would want to also extend to the bleeds. And it's okay if it goes beyond the bleeds, but it definitely needs to reach at least to the bleeds. So there we go. Now this document has a proper bleed, and we'd be ready to send that off. Here's another example where this area doesn't have any bleed because we're on that just white background, but these pieces here, we would wanna make sure that they extend all the way to the bleed. Otherwise, if we had it just like this, there's no guarantee that the blade is going to trim precisely right here, right? So it's basically a margin of error. So we want to give our printer a little bit of wiggle room, breathing space to be able to make that trim and still have a good looking document. So there you have it. That's a look at bleeds. 
It's always best to check with your printer and ask them what size bleed they want. If they provide a template that already has the bleeds built into it, then that's a super easy way to make sure that you are working with the correct document setup. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Kara Plichnich, and we'll see you next time here at Creative Pro. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.